Hey guys, James I from Measure Square here, and I'm happy to take you all through the new update from Measure Square 8. First on the list, we have a feature called OCR or Optical Character Recognition. This will recognize all the text that you have on your PDF plans, and it'll make that text searchable. So this allows you to do some pretty cool things. For example, you know, you can zoom in on a product description here, just select that and copy the text. And you can already see how this would be useful. You go right into your product, paste that text into your description, and uh, that'll save you a little time on the typing side there. You can also use it to find your unique identifiers on your plans and access them easily with two clicks. Another great feature we've added here is the tab view. Um, so if you look on the right side now, you'll have a uh, another tab on your right hand panel called tab view. Um, little thumbnails for each page. This is a great feature and uh, you have the ability to bookmark each of these pages So you could say just bookmark a couple of these um, And then you have the ability to only view your bookmarks So you guys can see how this would come in handy on a giant set of plans You could just bookmark the couple that you need and uh, have a much easier way to view just those pages All right guys, and then on the product side of things we have a couple new changes if you open up your add-ons window here, you'll see now you have the ability to check multiple add-ons and add them to the item at one time. Anyone who's built out a product database knows the value here. This is going to save you guys hours and hours. Um, and then on the linear side of things, we added an option for no piecing together. So a lot of you can imagine what this means. Perfect for something like Schluter in a doorway where you only want to use one piece. So the system's not going to be using your leftover two foot piece and sticking that in a doorway. Uh, and then we also added length as a property for linear items, which is great. Next on the list here, we made some changes to the elevation tool. So typically when you place an elevation, there's no flooring underneath, correct? Well, we changed that. We gave you the option to turn on or off that deduct material from the ground or the walls. So if you uncheck that box on the right hand side, you could see the flooring goes directly underneath that elevation, which is perfect for situations like if you're installing your flooring before the millwork, got a lot of requests on that and we're happy about this one now when you have a, a wall profile within a room you can actually mark one of these walls as the typical wall so I'm gonna just gonna click here and on the right side we have this typical option just select that and that'll modify our printout to only show the one wall um, instead of just having four identical walls that are kind of uh, repetitive you know, so this will clean up your printout and, and make it look better on the customer side or if you're using these wall details for your installers, this will help them out too. Next on the list we have our eagle eye view over in the top right here. Kind of like a uh, mini map view where you can see what area of the page you're on depending on your zoom and your location. You can manipulate what area of the page you're on by clicking on the eagle eye view. Nice little feature up there. We also made a change to our worksheet view guys. So now you have the ability to break worksheets up by both product and add-on so that a parent product's add-ons are grouped with it on the worksheet. So a nice little cleaner view for you guys there. We modified the way that products are applied to doorways as well so your transitions won't be affected but now you also have the ability to apply products to the door frame linear products um, and you also have the ability to apply area products to the inside of the door frame and I'm sure a lot of you guys have run into situations where you've had to make an elevation on the ceiling or do some kind of work around to get these area products where you need them to be now it's as simple as just applying them to the inside of the doorway and as you could see they'll show up on that that inner uh, surface there last couple of quick mentions here guys we did add the ability to add a URL for a photo, for a tile texture. Um, so you can copy an image address and paste it in here to add an image to your items. And the last thing here is just the ta edit tab view, which allows you to edit the properties of multiple tabs very quickly, very easily. Um, you can change their name from here, duplication, color, etc. We hope you all enjoy the update and thanks for watching.